Why don't you open your Bibles, if you would, to Luke chapter 3. <clears throat> and I actually uh, uh, felt early, this, it's just, this doesn't happen to me very often, where many, many, many days ahead of time, I, I have a sense for what the Lord wants me to do on a particular uh, Sunday. But I really felt early this week that I was to review uh, something that I had, uh, a word that I brought to you in its entirety about, th I think, three years ago, I'm guessing now. And I've used parts of it uh, off and on for the last several years. So we're going we're gonna to begin in Luke chapter 3. But before I do, I want to take a, a, a before I even start, we're going to take a detour. We're going to take a diversion. And I want to read to you phrases out of Matthew 14. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be about, I think, four phrases, maybe five, out of about 20 verses. Because there's a, there's a storyline that I want you to catch. Because there's a... a Jesus, how many of you re remember, Jesus was tempted in all ways as we are, yet without sin. So he experienced every emotion, every, every opportunity for failure that any of us would experience, and yet none of it was ever appealing to him because he didn't have the value system. So he made it through that without any problem, without any issue. But this is one of those moments. <clears throat> John the Baptist dies. John the Baptist was beheaded. John is the prophet that Jesus gave the greatest honor to. In Matthew 11, he declares John the Baptist to be uh, the greatest prophet of all Old Testament prophets. But John was also his cousin. <clears throat> and so it says this, Herod sent and had John beheaded in prison. When Jesus heard about it, he departed in a boat to a deserted place. When the multitudes heard about it, they ran ahead on foot. Jesus was moved with compassion when he saw them and he healed their sick. When he sent the multitudes away, he went up to a mountain to pray. Here's what I want you to notice. He gets the news, his cousin, the forerunner to his own life and ministry, John the Baptist, was beheaded. The first thing he does is he separates himself from all other activities. When crowds begin to pull on him, he moves in compassion, but there comes a limit. There comes a, a point where he draws the line, he sends the multitude away, and he goes up on a mountain to pray. What's the point? Every time we experience some of the greater challenges in life, uh, we, we always have issues going on but some of the greater challenges that really could derail us, really could undermine our confidence in a given situation. It's in those moments we are supposed to refine our focus. There are certain times in our life where we can manage, you know, six plates spinning at the same time and can do it quite well. You know, we can be involved here, we can be involved there. We have this activity going, we have that activity. But there are other times where things shift and it's a real challenging season. And sometimes we deaden the challenge, can I use the word pain? We deaden the pain through busyness and in doing so fail to refine our focus and we don't ever capitalize on the severity of the moment, getting it to turn to where God vindicates his own name in and through our life. Because every challenge to our faith is an opportunity for vindication. See, he's a God of vindication. I, I, I like the movies where the bad guy loses and the good guy wins. I love those movies. I, it, I'll sit there for two hours and wait. What I don't like are those TV shows where there's no closure. You gotta watch an entire season and then they leave you hanging for the next season. I don't have five years. I don't have, I don't have five years to get this issue settled in my heart. I need the bad guy to suffer now or repent. I'm, I'm good with both. But they don't usually have them repent in the TV show. So I, I like the justice thing. Get, get this thing settled right away, at least by the end of two or three shows. If I got to wait multiple seasons, I just, it just makes me angry. I get to the end of the season, you did it again. Uh. 